Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that Adam alayhi salam fataqa Adam min rabbihi karimat fataba alayhi that Adam drew close to his Lord with a few words so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a tawwab rahim he's the acceptor of repentance and he loves to forgive he is the forgiver in his attributes in his divine essence subhanahu wa ta'ala and those words Allah tells us in another place in the Quran were rabbana zalamna anfusana wa in lam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna min al-khasirin O oh, our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. If you do not forgive us and have mercy upon us, then surely we will be from the losers. The first thing that Adam alayhi salam did right in this particular sequence is Adam alayhi salam took ownership of his wrongdoing. Eve took ownership of her wrongdoing. They did not blame Allah. They did not blame the devil for tempting them. They didn't blame Jannah for being too beautiful and too sweet because sometimes we don't blame characters. We blame the circumstances. We say it was too much. The temptation was too much. They didn't blame anyone but themselves. What is the failure of Bani Israel once Allah talks about the children of Israel, the wicked one amongst them, amongst them, uh, the wicked ones amongst them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, وَمَا ظَلَمُونَ وَلَكِنْ كَانُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ يَظْلِمُونَ They're not wronging us, they're wronging themselves. They're failing to take ownership of their misdeeds, of their actions. So when they commit a wrongdoing, not only do they not repent, they blame everyone but themselves, and then they go on and they do something else. They continue to distance themselves. The difference and the same words are used. Allah gives us the model of repentance in Adam and, in Adam and Hawa and Adam and Eve when they say, we wronged ourselves. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us the wicked ones from the, from the children of Israel. Okay, those that disobeyed uh, Musa alayhi salam and their prophet saying or, or completely deflecting and not taking ownership of their own, their own wrongdoings. However, Here's the thing, and this is something that if we pay attention to, we realize that if we understand the simple equation, we can defeat the shaitan for the devil from overcoming us and from taking us down a trajectory or upon a trajectory where we are in constant disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and failing to take ownership of our deeds. Adam alayhi salam took ownership of his deeds, but you know what Adam didn't take ownership of? The forgiveness and mercy of Allah. رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِن لَمْ تَخْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُنَّنَا مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ If you don't forgive us and have mercy upon us, then we will be losers. Here's what mistake we make often and where we end up going to an unhealthy state of fear or an unhealthy you know, a state of despair is when we don't take, when we don't take ownership of our sins and then we start putting checks and boundaries on the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let me give you an example. You committed a sin, a major sin, a minor sin, whatever it is. You asked Allah for repentance. You packaged it in the way that we are told to package it, in the way that the prophets of Allah uh, packaged it, in the way that the righteous of Bani Israel, the righteous of this ummah, the righteous of all time have packaged it. You did your part and you gave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once you have given it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهِ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا Say, O oh my servants who have transgressed against themselves, do not despair from the mercy of Allah. Allah forgives all sins. At that point, you've given it over to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you trust that Allah will forgive you and will have mercy upon you. Not because you deserve it, but because His mercy is beyond our comprehension. Think about this. A lot of times, the reason why we stay down is because we start to say, well, did Allah really forgive me? Am I still being punished for this? Am I still going through this? Am I still going through that? And can Allah forgive this? And can Allah forgive that? And those whispers keep us down. Allah gives us the perfect equation. You take full ownership of your sin. Do not project your weakness on Allah. Do not project your flaws 
on Allah. Do not blame Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for not giving you enough. But now that you have committed that sin and you've taken ownership of it and you've said astaghfirullah and you've moved on, now you have to place your trust in His forgiveness or mercy or else you're going to remain pegged down and you will not be able to progress in your faith. Take ownership of your sins. Do not try to take ownership of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is beyond our capacity. It is beyond our comprehension. And that's why Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu said, there is no greater act of worship than al-husn al-dhan billah. To have a good expectation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assume well of your creator. Adam alayhi salam, with everything that happened, immediately assumed well of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That I need you and I know that you will forgive me. As long as I do my part, I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do our, his part because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not a vengeful uh, God. He is just and He is merciful and His mercy is beyond our comprehension. As long as we don't make excuses for our own misdoings. As long as we take ownership and we actually try, we know that we can trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have mercy upon us and will forgive us so long as we seek it. Oh.